Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to the second part of the Lies of P demo. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be continuing on through our playthrough of the demo. Now, I did farm up a bunch of, what is it, Ergo, I think it's called, Ergo. I was going to go to 10,000, and then I was like, oh, maybe I'll get a, a couple extra levels. And apparently, I can only get so many levels in here. So, I have something like 14,000 Ergo. I also went ahead and I bought the, um, what is this stuff called? The throwing cell and the electric blitz abrasive. We'll see how that uh, works out. Let's go ahead and level up. Put this at 10, 10, 10. Actually go 11 here. See, and it won't let me go any further than that. So I'm guessing you can only level up so much in the demo I don't know I did try to learn some of the parrying and the blocking I'm not very good at it I'm sure it'll all come in time practice right that's what it's all about but I have been getting better at the combat no oh, I thought something dropped there for a second This place looks so cool. Although something I noticed that was kind of like, I don't want to say off-putting, but jarring, is you get a buildup of oil on him, but it like dissipates so fast. Like maybe if it like stayed on you longer or like stayed on you until you res rested at a stargazing thing or something, I don't know. Um, it, ju it just is a little off-putting or jarring, should I say, seeing it like dissipate so fast. Let's go ahead and go in here. I'm pretty sure this is a boss fight, so the first couple of um, rounds, I'm not going to use this stuff, like the stuff I bought here, um, just because I want to learn uh, the boss's moveset. So let's go inside here. Oh, damn, Pinocchio. Boy's got style. Holy moly. Whoa. Ooh, that did not work out. Ouch. Ah. Dodging animation is a little laggy okay you'll do a lunge forward and then 
Getting past that is kind of hard. Mm. Oh yeah, he does that. Alright, I'm all out of healing items. his fucking head off. Okay, I'm probably gonna die. Let's see. Slams it down and then... Oh! 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 I should not have done that. Ouch! Ow. Upon dying in the boss area, if you die in a boss battle, death ergo is created at the entrance to the boss arena. Oh, cool. That means I don't have to pick it up in the actual arena. I do like that. We're just going to run by here. I'm not even going to bother with killing any of these enemies. Just straight to the boss. Such a wide swing. That was close. Ugh. Man, it's hard to dodge that shit. see some of these ouch ow oh my god dude 
<laughs> that sucked. Okay, let's try this again. Damn it, man. Really need to move it or learn his moves. That is such a deadly combo there. Oh my god. So dodging to the side does nothing. For that big attack that is. I think this is my worst attempt yet. Oh, come on. I'm going to try to be a little more cautious this time, read his attacks a little more as I get hit. Does he have bodies in that cage? If so, that's nuts. That back swings, no joke.
Damn it. I read that wrong. So you got a lot of greedy there. Come on, do you jump? I like when you do that. Yeah, that's... That's the spirit. I think I pissed him off, everybody. Oh, no! Alright, this is the one, everybody. I'm gonna beat him this time. Bastard. Nah, I don't know how to get dodge that attack yet. Got him. Barely. <laughs> Got him. Nonetheless. Parade leaders, Ergo, and Quartz. Hmm. By the way, I am going to come back down here. And we're going to buy some more of this electric stuff. That's good stuff right there. Think it'll be handy. Out here alone? Oh, I cannot buy it anymore. Wow. Also, I did buy the great sword of Fate Blade and the wintry rapiers blade as well. 
we already have this one, the Puppet Saber. Well, that sucks. I can't buy any more of that. Oh, well. That was a fun boss fight. I like that. Even though I died quite a bit. Fable Catalyst. Oh, wow. This must be, yep, Hotel Crot. Crat, Crot. I think it's Crot, not Crat. I keep wanting to say Crat. Dim Ergo Fragment. Oh. Hey, you alive? Puppet cannot enter. One more thing I should mention. The hotel security excludes puppets like you. So you'll have to lie to get inside. You're a special puppet after all. Lie was written in red letters. That's interesting. Hidden moonstone. The moonstone was not from this world, however, no, never mind. Didn't need to read that anyways. That's something I think that they should change is how fast the texts go off when you're trying to read them. Welcome to the Sanctuary of the Grand Covenant. Prove your identity. Who are you? Oh, we get to say puppet or human, huh? Um, we're gonna say human because the lady told us to lie. Grand Covenant's fourth floor. A puppet cannot lie. Welcome to Hotel Crot. Whoa. Some red stuff like kind of sparkled around us. Did we do something bad? to find you you must have questions Geppetto will have answers but we have to find him first he was last seen on Elysian Boulevard all of Krat is dangerous for humans and that neighborhood is one of the scariest please find Geppetto on Elysian Boulevard I'll explain more once you find him. Wait. Take this pocket watch. Krat is a labyrinth of peril right now. This watch will guide you to a safe place. Be careful, clever one. Moon phase pocket watch. 
Let's see what that does. Teleport to hotel or last stargazer used. Okay. Kind of like a homeward bone or something like that. Um, oh, this will give us more ergo. 5,000. Nice. Um, what was the other thing I got? There's something else. The quartz P organ ability activation part. Hmm. Hidden moonstone upgrades normal weapon blade up to plus three. Nice. Okay. So we can upgrade a weapon. Let's talk to this lady. Look at Gemini. I think he's in shock. Gemini is flying. That's proof you're broken. The real Gemini isn't so calm. I'm no inventor, but perhaps I can fix him. Or perhaps he'll fix himself in time. Got anything else to say, lady? I'll use my power to help you. Oh, we can level up from her? Can we actually level up? Four times, huh? Hold on, I'll be back. We're going to talk to her more, too. I'll use my power to help you. Let's talk to her real quick. Uh, about the Ergo and then Monda's lamp. Mo Modana's lamp. Ergo is the miracle that made Krat prosper. Without Ergo, there would be no automated puppets to make Krat wealthy. When you move, you tap into the power of Ergo within you. Gather more Ergo. It will make you stronger. In the folklore of Krat, a cricket often acts as a guide. That is why these automated models became popular. But Gemini is unique. He's more than just a guide. As you get more familiar with Gemini, you'll see what I mean. So far, Gemini just sounds like a robot. I'll use my power to That's it. How many levels can we get? Eight? Oh, holy moly. We're just going to go one down the board. Um, I think I only want my capacity to ten. I'm not really doing a heavy build, so I don't think we need to worry about that too much. What's this? You stargazer. Teleport to another stargazer. You can transfer from one stargazer to another. You can only travel to those. You have activated stargazers in areas with an event will be marked with a hint. Oh, okay. There's a hotel crot. It's got two faces on it, so maybe we need to talk to some people. That looks interesting over there, but I want to talk to this guy. Welcome to Hotel Crop. My name is Polandina, butler to Lady Antonia. Please let me know how I may be of service. At Hotel Krat, comfort and calm walk hand in hand. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? It's really funny because in the books of the Adventures of Pinocchio, Paulandina was Geppetto's nickname, or well, what the kids used to call him to pick on him. 
Huh. Okay. I don't know what this Legion magazine is. What is that? A Palmer filled with a, uh, a Palmer filling that activates a Legion arms specific ability. Okay. I don't even know what a Legion arm is, but I'm guessing that it's our arm or something or attachment. About the Grand Covenant? The Grand Covenant is a set of absolute commands imprinted on puppets when they are made. First law. All puppets must obey their creator's commands. Second law. A puppet may not harm humans. Third law. A puppet protects and serves humans and the city of Krat. Fourth law. A puppet cannot lie. I've told you about the laws engraved upon every puppet. Do you require anything else? Um... Nope. Does this do anything? Use? Check records. Nothing, I guess. That's the way we came in. I want to see what's over here by this red thing. Um, actually. Let's go out here first. Right on. I guess this is like a practice area or a training area. Practice skills and stuff. That's cool. So if you're rusty or you just want to try out some new moves, you can. Who are you? I heard about you from Geppetto, but to see you in person. Wow. You should take this. Geppetto left it with me. Nice. Did we just get a new arm? Legion arm. Okay, we were just reading about that a minute ago. Legion arm is special equipment that is equipped on the left arm. Each Legion arm has its own combat ability. Legion arm can be modified into all sorts of forms. Modifications can be made using the Venegenes. Venegenes? I cannot pronounce. I'm sorry. I just can't pronounce that one. Uh, craft machine. Okay. Sound of it alone. That craftsmanship comes only from the hands of Geppetto. You must be something else. A custom arm from Geppetto himself is quite an accessory. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Eugenie from the Workshop Union. I know my way around weapons of all kinds. I'm sure Master Geppetto would agree. If any of your weapons need work, bring them to me. I know my way around a weapon. Want me to look at something? Alter handle. Alter handle, you can bring Eugenie cranks to alter weapon handles. Okay. Each handle's property upgrade based on your character's basic stats. You can change this property and grade one time with a handle alteration. However, you can always reset with a balanced crank. Hmm, all right. I don't have any cranks, so I can't do anything. Plus, I don't have enough ergo or whatever it's called
That's cool. Can we upgrade our weapon? Do we have enough? Oh, we have one hit in Moonstone. It's back here. I organized this place according to the rules, so don't move a thing. Yeah, they really need to, like, slow the... You, you Jenny. They, they really need to slow that down. It's... You know, really hard to read it all. I mean, I get that most people don't usually play these types of games for the story and stuff, but I still want to read stuff. Let's talk to this lady. Unexpected guests are welcome. We don't insist on reservations. I am Antonia, and this is my hotel. Welcome. Oh, I knew from the moment we met the Georgia Petto's puppet. He might have a few loose screws, but Geppetto's skills are undiminished. It's a shame. He took off for Elysian Boulevard. And he never came back. If it doesn't turn up soon, we'll have to make a new coffin. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I was keeping this for him. It comes with a long story. But I think it's better off with you. Please find that old man, and do take care of yourself out there. Obtain gesture. Okay. Yeah, I already equipped one gesture. You know what we should equip on that bag? Is this right here. And then a gesture, show off clothes. How do you put clothes on? Oh shit, look at that. Physical damage reduction rate. Okay, this is all stuff we can put on here. Cannot be changed here. Oh, we can put on a second sword. Oh, but that adds to weight. Uh, no, I don't want to add any more weight than I have. Usable items. Um, we don't need that on anymore because we don't have any. Costumes. <laughs> uh, the uniform of a sophisticated and dignified boarding school. The, uh, this clothes have been worn before. The uniform of a boarding school famous in Krat. The initial M is engraved on, ele on elegant brooch. We'll wear this for a bit. Why not? Kind of looks like a sailor's outfit, but... I want to go this way. I wonder if this is her. That's why she's over here. Reminiscing on the good old days, lady. Um, 
And we'll go over there in a bit. I'm going to come up here and check things out. Just trying to see if maybe there's any illusory walls or something. Looks really, really pretty, and it looks like they definitely took their time when crafting this world. Okay, can't go that way. Looks like we can fall down right there. Can't go that way either. Guess we have to go this way. my lamp on I think when we get to the next stargazer we're gonna end the video when we come back we'll explore this area hey let's be more careful ah, the black rabbit brotherhood I hate these guys but don't be alarmed my name is Gemini we'll talk later when we're safe Is that thing gonna fall? Doesn't look very stable. Black Rabbit Brotherhood. Damn, these people look like they've seen better days. Okay, I think right here we're gonna activate this Stargazer and then we're gonna end the video. So far, I'm liking the game. I have a couple of, uh, I don't want to say nitpicks, but, you know, just things that I think they could change, like being able to actually read the info that's on the screen, that's a pop-up text. Uh, they could slow that down so people can read. We're not robots. We can't read that fast, even though that we're, you know, playing as a marionette uh, or puppet, as you would say. Um, and uh, another thing, the oil, um, it just kind of dissipates from his, uh, clothing really fast. It's, it's very jarring. Um, so I think that could be changed. So, so far two things that I think, you know, it could be changed, but not anything that's going to like make the game horrible. But with that all being said, let's go ahead and end this video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't hit the thumbs down button, let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.